The status conference at the ICC kicked off 10 minutes behind schedule as some members of the defense team were denied access to the building. The tentative delay, however, did not stop the hearing as the prosecution announced the amount of evidence in its possession against William Ruto, Henry Kosge, and Joshua Sang, accused of forcible transfer of population, persecution, and murder. 606 documents, and we have calculated the pages at this time to be approximately 11,000 pages. The prosecution also announced it holds up to 3,100 witness statements against Francis Mdaura, Uhuru Kenyatta and Hussein Ali, accused of murder, rape, persecution and committing other inhumane acts. In total, Ocampo stated he will call up to 20 witnesses with the amount of documentation in his possession amounted to 19,000 pages. He however impressed upon the court to allow him conceal a chunk of his evidence, arguing that a full disclosure could jeopardize the security of his witnesses, a claim dismissed by the defense lawyers who argued the prosecution should not hide behind the guise of witness protection to withhold information. We do have an estimate of materials that would be disclosed in redacted form, or that we wish to disclose in redacted form. You, you remember that you make proposals to the chamber and, uh, of course, substantiating uh, your proposals. And finally, it is the chamber's responsibility to approve these reductions. That's correct, Madam President. We understand. The prosecution approached this issue of redactions with very great care, uh, and they only redact what in the long term is going to be properly justifiable in hindsight as, as a redaction. The prosecution also visited an earlier plea to have the court make a ruling on a case by the Kenyan government challenging the admissibility of the cases at the ICC before it reveals all the information in its hands. A plea that presiding judge Ekaterina Trenda Fivola promised to expedite. The status conference now paves the way for the court to prepare a timetable on which the prosecution and defense will share information in their possession on the case ahead of the confirmation of charges date set for September. Kathina Chenga for the news at nine.